good day my wonderful people you're welcome back to the channel this is Yuglo fashion today we'll be learning how to make a butterfly mini gown with kio and you can wear it as a symmetric neck you can wear it as off shoulder there's a belt attached to it so please stay tuned to the end and enjoy the video like and share the video as well thank you very much for the tutorial i'll be making use of a chiffon fabric and for this chiffon fabric i have two yards so i went ahead to fold it into two equal parts just ensure the m is equal then after that i went ahead to fold into four as well four equal parts after having my four equal parts i ensured that the folded part is facing my direction that's because i'm going to input my measurements there so i should the parts must be the, the side must be joined together then i went ahead to measure since i said it's a mini dress so the measurement i'll be working with is just 35 inches and i added one for the m to make 36 inches i ensure there's no folding in between the chiffon it's well placed after that i use the side as my shoulder so now i'll be measuring from shoulder to nipple point that's 9.5 inches shoulder to under bust that's 13 shoulder to half length that's 17 shoulder to hip length is 24 then i'll use i went ahead to use ruler to connect the lines to make it reflect well please when you are cutting yours you know how chiffon fabric can be you can use pin to hold your own fabric down because i later did that while cutting now after measuring everything out with my ruler i went ahead to measure the total circumference so for the nipple point the total circumference is 36 i added half for ease which means you know when you are adding half and the fabric is into four which means you are adding like two inches to it yes i'm right two inches for ease so if you multiply 9.5 times 4 that will give you 38, uh, 38 instead of 36 which is the normal bust measurement so then i went ahead to connect my lines i added half to all the circumference now for the m line i used the same measurement for the hip to determine the m line so at the M, I came up with just 2.5 inches. This is optional. If you like, you can stitch your yours to the M line, but I just decided to come up with 2.5 inches. Then I connected the lines. Now to make the key O, this depends on the actual place you want the key hole to be for this style I'm making i decided to come up with 1.5 inch after uh, before the half length then after the half length also i measured 1.5 inches 
if you want your keyhole to be directly at your under bust, it's it's optional anyways. Then I left like one inch in between the actual measurements and the key O. Now I'm done with that. You can make your O to be bigger than this. Like I said earlier, it's optional. Now for the shoulder. I have to open up here. Because I'm still going to stitch. So I have to open it up. Then for the shoulder. This is the part that where the sleeve is going to end. That was why I said earlier that you can make it key, you can make the neck asymmetric or off shoulder. Depends on how you want it to be. So for this side, I measured 8.5 inches. Then at the edge here, I measured two inches. I'll just slant the two inches to connect to the 8.5. Just use your slant line to connect it. Then I went ahead to cut it out. And also to notch that particular place so as to know where it ended and where it's starting from. Now to cut the key O, I'll first notch the middle of the O. So this will give access for the scissors to enter freely just to cut the key O. After cutting the key O, I removed all the pins. Then I went ahead to trace out the measurement lines well so that it can reflect on both sides. Please note that I've, I've separated the front from the back now. So I'm trying to trace out the front well. You can see it's it's reflecting well on both sides so I set this aside and also pick the back and trace out the same measurement on it now to the to my machine The first part to be done is the key O. So for this key O, I'm going to stitch it inside to have a good finishing. And to stitch this, just watch closely what uh, the way I'm doing it. You pick it inside. So this is the wrong side of the fabric. So. I'll pick the two together. Then I went ahead to secure it with my pin. And I went went ahead to stitch the holes together. That's the O of both back and front. 
both back and front that's the two i'm stitching together after stitching i remove the pins so you can see how it looks now so in order for it to lay well to relax well i had to notch the folding part there After folding, I went ahead to give it a good press. Then I did likewise to the other side. The next thing to do now is to st stitch the, the sleeve side. So to stitch this also, I will have to turn it inside. I will have to stitch the wrong side so please watch closely how I did this I pick the two wrong side then turn it the other way around then wait I had to stitch So having done with the shoulder, the next thing to do is the neckline. So for the neckline, I will have to fold it this way. Just fold like two times. I don't know how best to explain this. Then I went ahead to stitch. After stitching the neckline, the next step is just to stitch every other side and you fold the way I folded the neckline. Just fold just fold like twice, then you stitch. Now I'm done with all my foldings. The next thing is to stitch out the measurement. That's why I ensure that the chalk really reflects on both sides of my fabric. Having done with that, this is the belt. So I measure six inches for the belt. Then I tripled the half length measurement. That's the length. You triple the half length measurement and this also depends on how long or wide you want the belt to be. So thank you very much for watching the video to the end. Please, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe, share also and put a comment through. Thank you very much. You are blessed. Love you all. Bye.